iOS 26 introduces an all-new visual upgrade, spatial wallpapers. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to set them up on your iPhone. These dynamic wallpapers create a stunning 3D-like effect that responds to motion and depth, bringing your lock screen to life like never before. But before we start with the video, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to AppTutor because it would really help me out. Now here's the important part. This little trick will work on any iPhone model as long as you're running the newest iOS 26 update, except for the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro models. If you have an iPhone 12 or newer, you're good to go. I'm currently on my home screen, but let's open our lock screen editor in order to set our wallpaper. And then we're gonna add that 3D spatial effect to it. So I'm gonna swipe from the top of the screen towards the bottom until I open the notification center. And now I'll long press anywhere on my screen until this section appears. We need this customize button located at the bottom. So this is what I'll click on. This option will open the lock screen editor for us. And what I'll do now is to first add another photo as my wallpaper, because I don't like this one. A tip which I have for you is to use photos of people, or you can use your pet photos for the best possible effect. The spatial effect is going to look great on those. So I've set my wallpaper, and what I'll now do is to click on this little icon right here that's located next to the three dots. And the iPhone will now analyze my photo for a couple of seconds, and then this 3D spatial effect will be enabled for my wallpaper. You're going to notice it when you start tilting your iPhone from the left to the right, from the top to the bottom, and so on. So, I wish you have fun with this effect and consider checking out the iOS 26 playlist from the description of this video, because that playlist will show you other new features which Apple has added that you may find useful.